Hello there, Controversy Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Today, ladies and gentlemen, gather round because the Royal Drama just keeps getting juicier. It's time to spill the tea on what's happening behind the palace walls. King Charles, the future monarch of England, has had enough of Prince Harry's relentless attacks on the Royal Family. In fact, he's so fed up that he held an urgent meeting at the stroke of midnight to discuss the Sussex's role with the monarchy. But whoa, before we get started, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. Okay, let's get started and have a blast. Now, you might have seen Harry and Meghan recently, all smiles and togetherness at the 2023 Invictus Games, but don't be fooled, because the feud with King Charles, William and the rest of the family is hotter than ever. According to a source close to Charles, the constant stream of criticism and blame from Harry has taken a toll on the monarchy. Charles has had enough, and he's not willing to wait for Harry to mend his ways anymore. Let's face it, it's finally game over for Harry. He and Meghan have never been shy about airing the family's dirty laundry in public. We all remember the explosive sit-down interview with Oprah in 2021. Harry's tell-all book Spare and their Netflix special, The Royal Family, has been under constant scrutiny and it's time for the attacks to stop. Charles wants peace and harmony to be restored within the family. If Harry has found a new purpose in life, even if it's just because it's not good for the image of Invictus, that's a step in the right direction. But the question of course remains, will Harry and Meghan ever truly reconcile with the family they've left behind? Sources suggest that the Sussexes have little interest in returning to the UK, except for legal court appearances. Meghan in particular seems to have no intention of gracing London with their presence. Instead, they're focusing on their overseas commitment, like the Invictus Games in Germany. Some experts believe that Meghan's absence from London reflects her antipathy towards Britain. It seems that she thinks they don't deserve her. And there's still the unresolved issue of their UK security and who's footing the bill. So the saga continues. We can only wonder if Harry and Meghan will ever find a way back to the royal fold. Or if this feud will continue to play out in the public eye. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis.